April Fools the second. So today we are dueling up this. Got one side on. Ashley wanted to get the other set of dual hub or the dual itself. And he's been working on this thing. Wants to get her going. Put new disc blades on this thing. Selford. Minimum, minimum tillage tool this is our cousins but he did all the work so he replaced all these I don't remember how many there are but there's enough and we tested out late last night so we just got the duels on this we're bringing over the other set sounds like I got a noisy fan or bearing going out hope not serpentine belt hope Check that out. Here he comes with the duel. You can see him, well, I don't see him yet. There he is. Thought we'd do it over here because we have better air pressure here and I got a nice three quarter dunk, three quarter inch gun. Nice Ingersoll Rand, it's a light composite gun, and it works really well for this kind of stuff. So I got the bolts out, lubed up, all I gotta do is slide her in place. This is the air gun, Ingersoll Rand, nice, three quarter ton, or three quarter ton, three quarter inch, works very well, lightweight. Doesn't take much effort. Better shut the door, he'll probably tear it off. Wish I had a way to mount this in my head, but I don't. Don't turn. He's ripping up my grass. Yeah, yeah. Oh! Back up! All right, down. See if we can do this with two hands or one. Go, Maggie! That didn't go as planned. All right, we'll have it on soon. Okay, folks, watch this. Ashton's gonna be backing up this blower to the barn. But it's got a flat tire, which we know it's junk already. We're gonna replace it. It's only like a wheelbarrow tire. He gets nervous when we film them. a little bit. Okay. So we had a mishap. The spinner sheared out and the shaft is sheared out so I welded it because obviously we're not going to replace it at this moment. And uh, what this blower does anymore as far as work is just bedding. So it's not blowing up in a 60 foot silo. I think it'll be fine. So that's what you do to get by. This thing is an old blower, probably made in the 80s. He's struggling. You got her, little boy? Oh, oh, it's heavy. I better help him before he hurts himself. 
Got it? There's a mark on there. Right here. All right. We're ready. Here we are again. Nashville's trying out the Selford. set up but he's not he's not very good at that yet because it does take some finessing and try to figure out the screen display and all that stuff so he's trying anyhow oh he gotta be rolling we, well, I gotta go talk to him Again, catching up to him. We got my two companions in here. Here, companions. <laughs> They're a little grumpy today. Well. <laughs> Everybody, welcome back to Turner Farms, and today we're working on the planter. It's that time of year. It's April twenty second, third, something like that. Four, fifth. I don't know. It's Saturday, April twentieth, something. And you guys aren't getting the best picture here, but I'm working on planter, and it's basically for the most part ready to go. I got it greased up, all the chains oiled. I had to use an old oil, an old oil can here. Right here, just some drain oil because our stupid WD-40 cans always lose their air pressure in the aerosol can. So we're going with the old oil, which isn't bad. Just go along and shoot a little bit of oil on the chains and all are good. So this thing's basically ready to go. I think Dad's going to get the bottoms, the plugs for the fertilizer tank here. And basically we can plant right now if we want to. I'm going to flip you guys around. Well, no, I won't. Right now we could plant if we wanted to, but our bean seed, which is what we want to plant first, is inside of, oh, oh what the hell. 
what the hell are them things called? The sea tote, sea box, whatever you want to call them. And we need a sea tenner for the seed box. But the sea tenner is being used at a different farm right now, so we can't use it right now. God, I'm trying to get used to this new phone, so sorry for the bad quality. Camera's at a different angle. So, really we can't plant today or tomorrow because we gotta wait for the seed tender. Unless we can find a seed tender around or something, but we could start on the corn. We have all of our corn seed, which is all in bags, so seed bags. That's already all delivered. So yeah, planter's basically ready to go. And we just got the 756 on it right now, just pulled over here. So I'll flip you guys around here. This is our, I think it's a 1990 something. I know it's a 1990 something. White 6100 six roll corn planter set for 30 inch rows. So basically each row is each row unit here is 30 inches from the other one. Pull way along. So our trash whippers here got new bearings in them, oh, I don't know, four or five years ago. We've had the planter for six, five years. We ran it one year without them on it. So four years ago, we put them on. So this has actually been a really good planter for us. We plant our corn and beans with it, obviously. Um, I got some net wrap I got to pick up there that came out of the trash whippers. You want to make sure you keep that net wrap and crap out of the trash whippers there. Otherwise, that'll take your bearings out like you wouldn't believe. And I was, what I was going to say is, these greasers on these trash whippers are really hard to find. Or not find, but hard to get to. Because you can, as you can see, they're right there. It's kind of hard to get a greaser, or a grease hose in there, a grease gun. But it's doable. You just, yeah. Once you do two, you can probably do the rest of the thing, no problem. But yeah. Opening blades here. They're probably, I don't know, I think they can go another year yet. I don't have to check them. I think what you do is you get a business card and you go along the bottom and make sure they're adjusted right. If the I'm trying to remember, I think the business card just kind of has to like grab just a little bit. Just stick in the opening wheels here a little bit. But I think those are good. I think Dad checked them, I think. I don't know. Uh, gate, you know, the press wheels here are just fine. Everything in that department's fine. She's basically almost ready to go. Just gotta get the fertilizer tank set up. Uh, run it make sure she's good to go and yeah we could plant today like i said but we don't have a seed tender for the seed tote boxes whatever you want to call them everybody calls them something different we also got our drawbar here all good to go on the 756 we didn't have this bracket on here until today because the bracket we had on there was like two inches too short so yeah well now we got one on there we're good to go there's absolutely no slop in that jaw bar, so that's good. Nice and tight. So yeah. Check the oil levels in this, and then I think she's good to go. Everything's greased. Everything's tight. No bearings going out that I can find of. The markers are raised up to where they're supposed to be, even though we're not going to use them much since we got our GPS. Need to put the seed plates in for the beans. This is for the corn. The medium size plates. I think we got a large, medium, and a small for the corn, and then we just got one for beans. Because different corn varieties have different size seeds, so this one's for, I guess you could say, medium size seed. So, yeah, that's probably, I'm trying to think. That was for the dairy land, I believe. I don't remember. So, we'll come back to you when we get some more action, I guess. Alright, so we're hooking up the planter to 86 now. We just got the duels put on it. Oh, dirty window. Yeah, this track is a bit dirty because Dad's been spreading lime in the field. So. We're going to get her hooked up and because we got this new player monitor. New to us. Monitor. We got to get calibrated so when it comes time to go, we can go. And it really got windy out today. It's pretty damn windy out right now. Enough where you might want to wear goggles so you don't get sand and crap in your eyes. We're focusing on the dirty window again. He's hooking the hoses up and such. And I just got to put the pump on. I don't know what he wants me to do. He's just staring. Open the window here.
It's what? No. In the cord. What cord? Oh. Alright. Alrighty, so Dad's gonna go out. Oh, is he coming through here? Dad's going to go. Okay, get the planner all set up. We finally got the monitor calibrated, heated, I should say. He had to download uh, an owner's manual for the monitor, the planner monitor, on his phone. Oh, he had to buy it, the owner's manual actually and download it down to his phone because he can't find the owner's manual for the monitor. So we don't know how to set it up, but we got to figure it out now. So we're going to go out, mess around with it. See if we can make stuff happen. Oh. <clears throat> it's just past, well, it's almost, it's quarter to seven at night, obviously. It got colder and windier out. They had to get the heat kicked on in here, surprisingly. Looks like he's got buckets set up, so he knows how far he's going. Basically, just sit here and watch him take off. And there he goes. Knock over his bucket. Way to go, Dad. I want to run alongside there and make sure all the clothes and wheels and whatnot are doing their job, which it appears they are. That's good. Everything's doing their job, it looks like. Opening discs, closing wheels. Obviously, we don't have any seat in it, so everything else is doing going good. And no, we do not use insecticides, so in all honesty, we should just connect the insecticide boxes. But as you can see, the trash whippers aren't running on the ground all that much, they're just barely touching the ground. So, yeah, looks like everything's working just fine my perspective anyway we don't have the pump hooked up obviously so there's no air running through the planter everything looks like it's working just fine though closing wheels that's good you see there that's what the trench looks like they drop the seat in and the closing wheels there close that trench up so the seat has a chance to germinate Assuming everything went well. Let's see if we can get a thumbs up from Dad. We got a thumbs up, so we're good. Huh? All right. He's gonna do one more one more time to make sure he's got the right count going on his monitor there so he's gonna back her up and give her again he's got his bucket there obviously so he's gonna do her one more time and hopefully that should be enough I'm gonna get down here and move his or put his bucket back up so here he comes as we can see there he's making his second pass and if we look over there, we got my Uncle Ben and Brant. They're working on putting the culvert back in the driveway there. So that culvert was put in, I don't know, three years ago when the power line came, company came through and put them big old power lines up there, which you can see they're pretty big. And they were going in and out of that driveway all the time when they were doing that. The driveway was washing out so badly and they had plugged that old culvert that was there. And when they put the new culvert in, they raised it up like a foot so the water couldn't drain out of that ditch so they're working on lowering that culvert back down to where it's supposed to be and as we know it here's dad well I'll see if I can flip around here got an E56 yeah too bad my phone decided to crap on me I had some nice videos and stuff oh you got her done that's good 
He's happy with it, I'm assuming. Move ahead here a bit. Oh, he's backing up. But yeah, I had, I had quite a few videos of that stuff, but you know, my phone decided to crap out, so starting over again. Bedding pile's almost gone, we gotta get the rest of that gone before we plant this field. What the hell is he doing? He's gonna rain on my butt, gonna run me over or something. So yeah, I guess we're good to go there. Gotta get the pump hooked up there and then we should be good, the vacuum pump. Put some seed in there, some liquid fertilizer, and we should be good to go.